What trouble shall we solve today? Oh, our last one. Businessman. I forgot my code to, the code to my briefcase. I'll be sacked for this for sure. Meet me in front of the hot dog stand in Glitzville. Alright, businessman. I already know where the hell you are, because you're stupid and we're just standing there. You know, that's great, though. You're, you're really intelligent. Saying that you forgot the code you... Well, no, I guess he still has his briefcase on him. He didn't lose his briefcase. He just has it. He forgot the code. Great, though, actually. Even better. You could get fired. It'd be so great if your boss just happened to read that and be like, Huh. He can't be trusted with anything, can he? He's fired. Alright, anyway, let's go help this miserable. How am I supposed to help him realize his... Am I gonna get to bash him in the head like I did that Goomba who couldn't remember shit? That'd be great. That'd be highly entertaining. I don't know why, but I find this guy annoying. So... I'd be more than okay with being the crap out of this guy, out of this businessman. Ugh. My hair. I swear. Is everywhere. Today. The rhyme scheme to start off with was not intentional. Love you. These are crap, bro. Get out. Thank you. All right, businessman, what you got for me? I just realized. I just realized. I wondered for years what the hell this is supposed to be. Really? I could never understand. It was like some donut thing from what I could see. I'm just now realizing that that's you're supposed. To, it's some one of those like cutout things that you like put your head through. Why? For a hot dog? It took me over 12 years to figure that out, and really? That's stupid. Why would you do that for a hot dog? Ah, uh, you're that fellow, so you're the one that accepted my request? And here's the thing, I forgot the code for the lock on my briefcase, and the prototype of our company's new product is inside. You are fired. This is a big deal. If I don't figure out how I'll get this, how I'll get into that briefcase, I'll be sacked for sure. about that briefcase code? See, I'm a real chair fanatic. Yeah, like, anything you sit on. I use the number of chairs in my house as I visit on business as a code. This one sounds fun. Don't judge me, I know it's weird. You gotta visit those places and count the chairs. The code has four digits, so here are the location of the chairs. Ready? The first is Krupp's house in Pedalburg. Ugh. The second is Flory's house in Bogley Woods. Ugh. The third is Dom Piante's office. Oh, God. Toodle's house in... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, and I counted the sweet, sweet chair in her lovely garden also. I know it's a lot, but please help. And remember, a chair is anything you sit on. Oh my god, really? Okay, so we're going to Pedalburg. Posh... This is gonna be the whole episode, clearly. Pedalburg. Poshley Heights. Okay, no, that's not the order. Pedalburg. Flurry's house, of all places. Don Pianta's place, and Ashley Heights. Shit, okay. At least they're all reachable from the blue pipes. That's good. I can reach them all from the little warp zones underground, but still. Oh my goodness, really? Okay. So it's Croup, Flurry, Pianta Syndicate and Toodles. Okay. So, since we're closest to it, might as well get the Pianta Syndicate first. And it's anything you sit on, so it can count as a stool, too. Great. Um... Uh, this... Wait. What is the businessman doing with the Syndicate? Okay, so there's two. Two, okay. That's good, that's simple. So it's blank, blank, two, blank. Okay, that's good. Nice and simple, I like that. Seriously though, what's this businessman, what's this businessman doing in the syndicate? What's this businessman doing at Toodle's place? At Flurry's place? What's he doing at any of these places? Who are you, businessman? I'm legitimately intrigued now, actually. 
Because these places are all pretty out of the way and not your standard, like... Like, Flurry's a former actress. Like, pretty famous one in this world. Toodles is freaking loaded. Um, and Croup, I mean, Croup will just accept anyone into his house. He's just lonely, but still. Really. Okay, so we have this chair in her garden. Okay, um... We got one, two, three up in here. And I guess this chair for the piano? Um, okay. So that one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm counting it as five. It better work. So it's blank, blank, two, five. Okay. But no, aside from croup, this businessman really gets around. Like the fact that he's visited some pretty high up there. What's the, what's the phrase? High key people? Yeah, I guess that's the phrase I'm looking for. Anyway, let's go back to my favorite place. The Bogley Woods. Even better, though. Let's go all the way to Flurry's house. Hooray. Oh, well, at least I'm not visiting... Having to actually go into the tree for once. Instead, I get to be out here. I have to avoid stupid clefts. I mean, I can kill the clefts easily, but I still have to avoid all these stupid bastards. Bastard. Apparently, word of the day is bastard. Nope. Not dealing with you. We're just gonna fly. Fly with me, everyone. Yay. We. It's so much fun. And I'm bored. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, wait, we're already at Flurry's Pit? That's right, because I went through the pipe, it skipped over the whole point where the, uh, the Shadow Sirens were, and they've got all those, just all, like, four of those enemies trying to attack me. So that was simpler than I was expecting. Okay, so this is gonna be the second digit. So, blink, blink, two, five. What do we have here? Uh, one, two... Three. I count this one, so, blank, three, two, five... 8675309, that's the code. Solved it. Got it. I'm a genius. And I actually cannot see at that angle. I was trying as, as hard as I could to be able to actually see, but I could just couldn't. It wasn't gonna happen. Nope, okay. And fun fact, you cannot do the spring jump uh, while in a background like that. So that's because I just tested that out and it doesn't work. All right, Dustin, carry me past this uh, tough puff, rough puff, whatever his name is. Dark puff, that's it. We ignore me. Fools, ignore me. I would destroy you. You're all chapter two, and I'm moving on to chapter seven. Oh, whoops, nope, that's my ride. All right, so we just need Croup's house now. Blank three, two, five. Blank 325. So whatever Croup's got. If I were to guess, it'd be 2325. Or is it... 1325, maybe? I know Croup, Croup does not have that much room in his house. So, I doubt he has that many chairs. The real oddball, though, is it's really going to be... Anything you sit on. I'm counting these stools as chairs. Because he says anything you sit on. You sit at that one stool at the piano, and I would just, that looked like a stool you would sit on at the table as well. So, okay, crew. Okay, you got a couch and you got a chair. So, two, three, two, five. And the couch counts as one, right? Better. So, two, three, two, five. Seriously, though, he gets around. These are all pretty out of the way. I had to go quite a ways in order to reach them. So, the fact that he managed to get all the way out there. He's just a businessman. How do you get to these places? Whoop. I mean, I guess he could take a car. They obviously have some form of transportation. They got trains and blimps. Clown cars. Oh, and the Mario World has confirmed cars. Was Super Mario 3D the world the first, like, 
the main title Mario game to actually have a car anywhere. I mean, obviously you got cars in like Mario Party, Mario Kart, but I feel as though Bowser on that car in 3D World was the first canon appearance of a car in a main series Mario title. I don't know. 2325, I haven't forgotten. I remember numbers well. It's one of the only things I got going for me, actually, is how my ability to remember numbers. I can remember a freaking 12-digit code underneath a bottle cap. And that's got letters mixed in, too. But I can remember that shit. Give me, like, two minutes of looking at it, I can memorize that shit for the next ten minutes. As soon as we leave the restaurant, though, I am screwed. Like, you asked me that shit two hours later, I'm gonna be like, I oh, don't know! I only did that to play games if you quiz me in that instance. I'm not gonna remember later. 2325. Come on, Flavio, get out, you're in my space. Alright, businessman, I have your code, or I should have what should be your code. Did you find Cobra? Sure thing, chair guy. First number, how many wonderful are in Coop's house? Two. Oh, good, it gives me multiple choice. How many gorgeous chairs are in Flurry's house? Three. Oh, okay, it's not that multiple choice. Two. More. Five. Okay, so it must be two, two. No, that doesn't make sense. Two, 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 five. What? Do they count the two different seats of the couches? In which case, that'd be three, four, two. Maybe they don't count that. Uh, no, because it's something you sit on. I mean, not casually, but... Okay. We definitely know that... It... That Piantis place is two. We definitely know that. Croup's house is... Two. I didn't check Flurry's room. I never check Flurry's room. Flurry has a treasure chest in her room. Oh, I have to go back there. No. Okay. So, I'm gonna cut to me going back to Flurry's place. Oh, jeez, I'm okay, so there's two, three more in here. Okay, so it's two, six, two, five. Okay. Also, we have a treasure chest here. Super Appeal Partner, yay, okay. While we're also here, I figure I might as well take care of some so I don't have to come out this way ever again. Oh, shit, there's something actually here. Aha! Come on. Thank you. There's no hole underneath it. That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna... F I don't want to have to go to the right anymore here in Bogley Woods, so... We're going to find all the secrets in this area. Or at least between here and the, uh, the warp pipe. I just want to make sure of it that I get everything. Get everything now so I don't have to come back later. Since as I do this, I'll never have to head this way in Bogley Woods ever again. And it'll be great. Actually, while I'm back here. Okay, so there is something this way, apparently. Still this way. Still this way. Still this way, really. I already checked all these trees back in Chapter 2. Something over here. Oh, is it behind? No, nope, it's not behind it. Oh, it's right here? 
Whoa! Oh, that, okay, that's well hidden. That is... Okay, I'll admit, that is actually really well hidden. I would have never seen that had it not been for Miss Mouse. Good job, Miss Mouse. Thank you. Nothing else here. Okay. That props to whoever put that there. That's... That's well... Well done. I had to really look closely to even see that shit. Whoops. Nope. Don't want anything to do with you. Still this way. Okay. Whoops. Nope. No, sir. Ah, damn it. It's back... Oh, jeez. You're still chasing after me. It's over here. Somewhere. Really? In this whole mess? Okay, fine. I'll fight. Why not? I need you out of my way, so... Uh, luckily it'll be easy to kill. Yeah, Miss Mouse could easily kill you, actually. Miss Mouse can do enough damage to kill you. Check this out. Boom, boom, pop! Wow. Still four damage, even with your defense. Feel pathetic now, huh, Clef? You're nothing to me now. You're absolutely nothing. Okay, so what's happening? Still over this way. It's right here somewhere. I don't want to fight you, you asshole. Leave me alone. Okay, I guess I'm killing this one too. Great. Don't care. Die, stupid class. Yay, good, our man. Whatever. It's one more star point, I'll take it. And at least now I can actually search in peace. What the hell? What, is it up there? Is it a hidden block? Is it a hidden block? I swear if it's a hidden block. I don't have what for this shit anymore, damn it. Aha! You assholes. Thank you, Miss Mouse. I will say, having Miss Mouse instead is a little bit more clever. Because that's a little bit more challenge to finding a secret. Watt just revealed all the hidden blocks, and I Spy just revealed that, hey, there's actually a, um, a hidden panel somewhere around. Miss Mouse will, A, only hint at there being hidden blocks or panels, and B, actually will also point you towards other things as well. Nothing out here, really? That's surprising. Anyway, see, so yeah, I'll come back in 100% Chapter 2 at some point. Just not right now. Anyway, 2625. That's what we're aiming for. I'll be back at the, the um... Well, no, because I might as well finish up this episode with it. Might as well spend the extra two minutes and finish the episode. Whoa, no, you're on the wrong side of where I expected you to be. Okay, you buddy, don't walk towards me. I don't want to fight you. You're wasting my time now. You only give me two star points. You're worthless. You hear me, Hammer Bro? You're absolutely worthless. Huh. That's actually an interesting thought. We're gonna be going to, uh, the x -Not Fortress. x -Not, We're gonna be going to where the x -Nots are, uh, in Chapter 7. The enemies there are gonna be stronger, I assume. That would mean that the x -Not army is stronger than the Koopa army. Because the Koopa trolls are strong as they got. And yet... If the enemies in Chapter 7 are stronger, then the strongest of the Koopas, aside from Koopa, King Koopa himself, is not as strong as what the X-Knot has. Confirm, X-Knots are superior villains. At least in terms of strength. Probably not numbers, but... Ah, okay. Yeah. These are only... Ah, uh, man, I'm not... I uh, have to sit up still. Dang it. I don't like that I have to sit up. I'll make it change that between 
episodes just so I can relax a little bit more. Because my legs are killing me. Oh, that's, that's the shadow of the cord. I'm like, why do I have a mark on my leg? It's the shadow of the cord. Shadow of the cord losses. Anywho, 2625. And it's 2625. That's what the answer is going to be. Right? Yes, I got your code. Two. Six. Two. Five. Ah, uh, it opened. Yes, thank you so very much. Maybe I can keep my job. I'll try and remember from now on. Hold on a second. Please. What? What? Sorry. We were going to combine my company's famous hot sauce with this Stan's fat dog. We were going to call it the Tongue Blistering Fat Dog. I was sure it'd be a hit. Huh? I shouldn't give up so easily? Yeah, maybe you're right. Okay, I'll do it. I just have to convince the fat dog guy. I'm on it. I won't leave this place until I convince him. Wow, thanks for all your help. Here's your reward. Hot sauce. I'm down for that. It's my company's top item, our famous hot sauce. I have tons of stuff, so just ask me if you want some. See you later. Hooray, we solved the trouble, and that's all the troubles we can solve up to this point. So... I think that's everything for right now. Join me next time, and we'll actually move on to Chapter 7, I guess. Yeah, sounds good to me. Until then, this has been Mendes. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Adios.